They look pants. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the modern Konami classic, in quotations, known as Elibits. This is one of the first uh, motion-controlled third-party games for the Wii, and uh, it was by Konami. It is technically a first-person shooter, but, um, I mean, first of all, I think we'll see that it uh, has a very loose definition of shooter. It is a first-person game, a uh, motion-controlled game, and if you hadn't told me that it was by Konami, I don't think I would have had any earthly idea. I mean, how... How far Konami has changed. I mean, this was back in the days of the Wii. Like, does Konami even make video games anymore? I think they're just straight up out of the game. They were just like, you know that you know that whole video game thing? Yeah, forget that. I think now they make, what do they make, like health equipment or something like that? I don't even fully know. Okay, so here we have a multiplayer mode. There's a multiplayer mode and a map editor, believe it or not, in this game. Um, I say believe it or not as if you guys know what kind of game this is. You'll quickly see... Um, this is sort of a hide-and-seek, uh, Half-Life Gravity Gun first-person exploration uh, Chibi-Robo-style Pikmin game. Um, and if that description is not detailed enough, well then I just can't help you because that's as, that's as good a description as any I can come up with this game. Actually, I say it's as good a description as any. I've never played this, so I've only read about it. So let's go ahead and hop into the story mode here and see what the world of Elibits is like. In the tutorial, you can learn how to play the game and view advanced tips. Would you like to start the tutorial? By choosing no, you can go directly to the game. I think we're going to go ahead and choose the tutorial because I'm notorious for hopping into games and realizing I don't know what's going on, having to rewind, try the tutorial. So let's just go ahead and we're all going to try the tutorial together, guys. Time to learn uh, how to control the camera. First, point the Wiimote. Oh, God. Okay, this is not the tutorial I need. I know how the Wiimote works. With the Wiimote, pointing at the sensor bar, slowly move it left and right to look in the desired direction. You can also slowly move it up and down to look up or down. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so they want me to look in the circle. Good job. Let's continue with the next step. Slowly move the cursor. All right, so we move the cursor to look around. Makes sense. Oh, they, I have to hold it here for a long time. Look at that thing building up. The like, uh, see that like little uh, circle that's around my controller there? It's like building up. Okay, there we go. I have successfully learned how to look. An essential skill in first-person shooters. Um, would you like to go to the next part of the tutorial? Moving around. Now let's learn how to move. You can move forward by slowly tilting the nunchuck's control stick. Tilt the control stick backward to move backwards. Or tilt it left or right, gasp, to move in those directions. Uh, the thing you remember here is to point the Wiimote in the direction you wish to move. All right, let's give it a try. Wait. Okay, so this this moves you. Okay. Uh, that's easy. You can grab objects by holding the capture beam over them during the game. Press the A button or B button on the Wiimote to shoot at the capture beam. The beam will shoot while the button is down. If an object is too heavy, the cursor will turn red while you point at it, and you will be able to grab it on capture. Let's give it a try. All right. Oh yeah! We look! Move the box around. That, that is actually kind of fun. Time to learn how to pull, pull and tilt an object while holding the object. Move the Wii move back. Okay. I think they're teaching us how to open a doorknob here, guys. Oh god, this is super awkward. Next, let's learn how to capture an Elibit. Elibit is a living entity with mysterious energy. If you capture one, that energy will cause various things to happen. Nice and specific. Yeah, I capture one of these guys and something's gonna go go down. To capture an Elibit, point to it with the cursor and push the A button. The Elibit enters your capture gun tank as watts. God, we're converting them into energy. I've never heard of, uh, of burning a species for its energy. That's hardcore, man. That's hardcore. Watts are the game's unit of energy. Collect watts to fill the light bulb gauge, which will turn blacked out lights. Oh, wow. 
which will turn blacked out lights back on. Gotcha. So we need to kill a little race of creatures in order to power some light bulbs. Let's let's try it. Why not? Okay. Where are these guys? Oh, we just killed them. We zapped them with my gun. All right. It says we're capturing them. I guess we are capturing them. We're abducting them into into the lights. Come on, you're gonna become part of a light bulb. You're gonna love it. Welcome to your new life as energy. By capturing Elbits. Oh, missed that part. Would you like to go on to the next part of the tutorial? Yes, I would. Now let's find out how to use captured capturing to do various things. You can use a capture gun to grab and open closet drawers and so on. Grab a drawer and pull the Wiimote back. All right, let's do it. Let's open this puppy up. Huh. What do we got going on in there? Anything? Anything? Oh, hello. You're getting captured, buddy. You're, you're becoming part of a very fancy light fixture. You too. Anyone in here? Anyone hiding in here? No. All right. We searched them all. Can we close these things now? There we go. This is how you turn on a faucet or doorknob. Use a capture gun to grab a faucet or door doorknob and twist to open it. Okay. Point the cursor at the position of the faucet where the cursor changes and press the A. Okay. I've turned on a faucet, believe it or not, in my day. Bingo. Oh, look! There was a bunch of these guys in there. What are you guys doing in there? No, come back. Get back over here, you're becoming part of a life fixture. That guy's bathing. But we got him. Anything? No? Okay. How about... What's behind this door? Is it an elephant? No, it's just a door. Let's learn how to find an elephant hidden in something. This is like three card Monty. Where's the queen? Where's the queen? Find the queen. Sometimes elephants hide in objects by grabbing an object, shaking it, you can make the elephant come out. So people get me out of bed in the morning. Holding an object, gently shake the Wiimote up and down. Oh, okay, let's let's give it a try. Where are you hiding? I feel like a horror movie villain where I'm like chasing these little things. They're like hiding from me in terror. You can run, but you can't hide, little elements. I just, sm I'm smashing those things. You can try tilting it first. <laughs> or just like kicking it into the corner of the room. Either way works. In this game, you will capture lots of elements and use their watts to restore power after a blackout. Elements love small nooks and crannies, and to hide between or under things, find and capture them to turn the lights back on. I'm, I'm down with that. Boom! Get over here! Get over here! We had a blackout! It's the big one! We need to use you for energy, it's nothing personal! Oh, I think I threw that guy into the corner. Come on, you're coming with me. Don't worry, I'll get your family too. I feel like a Ghostbuster almost. Anything in here? Any elements in here? Yeah! Just like destroying their whole little block city. Oh, hello, buddy. Gotcha. What else we got over here? Ah, some sleeping elements. You're gonna wake up inside a light bulb? Don't know what the hell is going on. But your life will suddenly have meaning. Ah, destroy your house. Why are they sleeping around children's blocks, I wonder? What are these elements and what are they- why are they in like a nursery? Like, look at the wallpaper. Totally in a nursery here. Picking up all sorts of things. Alright, I'm just gonna toss these things all over the place. If there's an elephant in one of these, we'll find him. Oh, there he is! Get over here, buddy! <laughs> that guy- <laughs> There's like zap, 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 zap all around him at the aim of a stormtrooper. Okay, anything? Anything. It's kind of fun to like throw these things all over the place. Oh, look at them all! Oh, get them, get them, get them, get them! Yeah, little elephants. They were all hiding in that one. I don't want to know what a gang of elephants was all doing in one block together, guys, if you know what I mean. We've captured the elephants, and the room is lit up. Didn't we already open the door? Was there more to do? I thought, I'm pretty sure I had the whole door opening thing down. The stages include doors that won't open until you have enough watts. The doors show how many watts are required to open them. Okay, so this is an electric power door, I guess? Needs 100 watts of power. Can we just hook a car battery up to it or something like that? Let's get these guys while they're sleeping. 
Look at them all. They're just all taking a power nap right around the door. There we go. But let's trash the, this place anyway. Huh! Huh! Oh, it woke that guy up. He's running for his life! Getting his family! Dance for me! Dance! I <laughs> got him. Alright. Now we rotate. And boom, we're out of here. Nope. We rotate. And we are out! Sweet! Running an appliance. Turning on the washing machine. God, there's a lot of tutorials. It's one after the other. I look forward to eventually playing the game. As you collect watts, you will gain the ability to use electrical appliances placed on the stage. Uh, they display the amount of watts they require. Once the appliance is usable, at the switch with the A button, blah, 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 blah. All right. If, if these guys will power a computer, I will totally enslave them into my uh, battery something I can do. Come on, you're all gonna turn into my computer's power supply. You're gonna love it. Is that a boot? TV Energize. Oh, shoot, look at them all! Is that a squished one? Or a couple of squished ones? Let's get them all! Come here, buddy. Telephone Energize! Oh, I want the red one. He's the boss. He's Papa Smurf to these things. Come here. Come here! Let's do it! Yeah, alright, we got them all. Oh, we got most of them anyway. Come on. Boom, boom. You too, buddy. Sweet. 400 watts. Let's turn the switch on here. Oh, there's there's guys in here. What the heck? You push the button to activate electrical appliance so a power outlet came out. I didn't even turn on the TV. I'm getting kind of sick of this song. It's like the same song is looped for like 10 minutes. When you use an electrical appliance, yellow and pink elements come out. These elements are called power elements. Capture power elements to charge up the capture gun's power gauge. Fill this gauge uh, to level up the gun's capture power. When level increases, you can carry heavier objects. All right. Makes about as much sense as anything. Get these guys. These guys. This guy. All right. I need 200 watts. I'm turning the TV on this time. A new, better world awaits you, little elibits. Oh, look at all these things! Get him, get him, get him! Get all the little power ones. Holy crap! The TV was loaded with them. They were all over the place. Get them all! Kill them all! Burn them all! Oh man, I wanted to keep going. I was not ready. There were, guys, there's more elements in that room. Does anyone care? Why are we forcing me to go on to the next level? Ah, oh, this music though. Switch it up for God's sake. It's burning itself into my brain. It sounds innocuous, but it's just endless. It doesn't cease. Let's review what you've learned. All right. Can do that. I will leave no elibit behind. I become a, a lean, mean elibit slaughtering machine. Come on, elibits. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me, little guy. None of you can hide. The door open somewhere. I care not for the door. Get at these little punks. Oh, look at them all. There's a billion, million, billion of them over here. Oh, there's there's guys under the under the, the cabinet too. They're like mice. We need a cat. A cat would make short short work of all these guys. Oh look, it's like an infestation of these elements. We can't. Do I not have enough strength? Let's bash this boot on the thing. Do I not have enough strength to open the door? Oh, I do. But there's just nothing in there. There we go. Oh, there's a whole room of them. Hey. Ah. Get in there, get in there, get in there quick! Oh my god, the door is like the hardest part. Go, 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 it, it stays open for such a short amount of time. Yeah, look at it all! Power overwhelming! My guy's just like surging with electricity of Elibit. He's like just shaking violently from like electrical spasms. 
Level up to increase powers! It's a it's an element genocide over here. <laughs> We're wiping out an entire species of creature to power my my ceaseless unending desires for energy. Oh my god. We have we have more watts than I ever dreamed possible. Yeah, trash this place! Out of my way, elements! What's what's here? It's a drawer. Anything in here? Oh, one of these guys. Your leader! I got him too. This ends the basic Elibus tutorial. We hope you enjoy the game. Why thank you. Oh my god, there's more tutorial! They lied! It didn't end! Nothing ended! Items of special effects such as temporarily improving the capture gun's performance. Grab an item and smash it to the ground, wall, or other such place to activate it. I like that. In order to use this, you must break it. Homing laser? Yes. Smash! Hey, wait, it didn't do anything. Oh, I guess now it broke. Yeah! Come on, you little elephants! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Look at them all! That's how you do it. Man, this is like freaking half an hour of tutorial. Elephants are emotional living beings that cry, dance, and even run away in terror. Oh, man, you're making me feel bad. Depending on the state of an elibit when you capture it, the amount of watts you acquire will also vary. When an elibit running away, when elibit is running, its watts will decrease, and the bubbles that appear when you capture it will turn red. When elibit is stressed unconscious, they provide normal number of watts. This capture bubble will be white. Elibits are sleeping or singing, provide higher number of watts. Okay, so we want to capture these guys when they're in like a positive state. So basically, don't scare the elibits. Ah, the hell with it, just get them all. What is that? Elibit cookie. Attracts elibits for a time. Huh! Huh! Okay, that cookie does not seem to do anything coherent. I'm gonna capture all these dudes. I'm like standing on like a little colony of elibits that are all passed out. I'm like an elibit exterminator. Is there anyone left? Oh, there's a couple over here. What is this? EM Pulse Ball. Knocks out all the elements in range. Oh, that... That would have been handy to use. Electrical appliances. Didn't we already do this? I feel like now they're just jerking me around. Some appliances have levers to pull or dials to turn. Pointed... Okay, we did this though. Okay. Would you like to go on to the pink elements? Ah, screw you! We're playing the game. How complicated is this game that they need to have like 40 minutes of tutorial? We we can wing it from One here, guys. Story. I promise I'll go to sleep after that. Yeah, it's a promise kids never keep. Okay. I'll read you one more. But then it's off to sleep. You're setting a bad example, man. My name is Kyle. You never you never uh, cave. Elibits. My mom and dad study elibits. And they love them even more than me. Oh, so elements are the bad guys. A great big bolt of lightning. It struck years and years before you were even born, Kai. They've been friends with people for a long, long time. I wish there was no such thing as lightning. Then I bet the elements would never have shown up. And if hmm. there were no elements, mom and dad would take me out to an amusement park. So it sounds like our goal is going to be to systematically wipe out the species known as elephants hey, so that we can go to an amusement park. Or is this like the lesson of the kid who realized how important elephants were? Like in The Simpsons, like, no, Zink, come back. Come back, Zink! All the elements have gone away. Now we have no power. You dumb kid! You screwed up the TVs! You screwed up the computer! Oh, that's right. Ugh, kids are always ruining things. Only work because of elements, you know. Duh! Even be able to watch TV without. No! You you guys wouldn't be able to watch this video without elements. This video brought to you by the power of elements. All the elements fault? But I don't want to pick them up with my bare hands. I know. 
I'll use Dad's capture gun. Imagine electricity really re was run by like a small little race of creatures. That, uh, that'd be dark because every time you like power something on, maybe you're like killing a, little, a small community of them. Kind of like Reboot. The old YTV show Reboot that uh, was about little uh, computer sprites that lived inside of a computer and they would get killed when you played video games and stuff. Anyway, all right, here we are in our first level of Elibits after an insanely long tutorial. It's a kid's bedroom. Um, there are a bunch of Elibits just lazily hanging around. We're gonna suck them up like this. We're gonna jam them into the electrical socket because I'm pretty sure that's how you restore power when the power has been, uh, power has been outed. Let's just pick up all these dudes here. I think there's another guy hiding over here. Sleeping behind my computer. You thought you could just live a peaceful existence, buddy, but little did you know. You're going back into an electrical wire. We're shoving you into a power cord. All right, let's search around in here. Anyone? No. Anyone? Oh, there's, hey, there's a guy in there. Hey, there's a guy in there too. Hold on. I want this guy. Come here, buddy. These elibits are like, they they are fearless, man. They're just like, not afraid. Okay. They're they're like not afraid of just getting abducted in the night. EMP pulse. Um. If I could find an elibit, I would do something with this pulse. Oh, there's some elibits. Hey, buddy. There. There's also another EM EMP thing in here. This kid's lucky. They have EMP balls just hanging around their uh, their bedroom. These guys do not seem sinister in the slightest. I feel kind of bad for capturing them. Oh well. I don't feel bad enough to stop though. Yeah, come here. You're hiding in my TV. Nobody hides in my TV, you little punks. There, now I can watch TV. Problem solved. <laughs> That, that was that guy's house. He was living in my drawer. My sock drawer down here. Uh, if I can open it. Come on! I find, like, the the dragging mechanic in this game is, like, not super specific. Are these giant Lego blocks? Oh, yeah, we can trash this kid's room. Hey, look, there's a Wiimote! Oh, my God, hold on. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta pick this up. Ugh. Where'd it go? Guys, look. I'm holding a Wiimote with a Wiimote. We're at the nexus of the universe. Oh, I even have a Wii. Oh my God, there's a Wii. That's meta. Is this Elibits? If this game is Elibits, what game is it? Oh no, I went under the bed. Does not look like Elibits. Ah, get over here. <laughs> what game is that? I think that's a real game. Is that like Castlevania or something? Oh, we can see. What the hell is that? Huh, okay, well there's a game in a game. Oh, there's one, I found one, geez. I was like trashing this kid's room for a while trying to find this thing. We only had like three minutes left to clear this kid's room. Okay, I... Pick this up, move! Parents are gonna come in and find this room just utterly destroyed and be like, sorry, mom and dad. There were elements. Oh, there we go. That's where they all went. Um, all right. So, elements here. Uh, interesting game so far. Um, it's, uh, again, by Konami. If you had not told me this game was by Konami, I think I would have had no, no earthly clue. Uh, because this does not feel like a traditional Konami game. Like to me, Konami is like Contra. Like Contra is like the prototypical um, Konami game. Oh, oh yeah, do I get extra points for that? Like landed in, oh, there's totally a dude in there. There's totally a dude in there. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> You're mine now. You belong to Jay. Yeah, how do I turn more stuff on? How come I do not have nearly enough watts to do anything? I can, like, hear them mocking me! Reveal yourselves, Elibits! How am I stuck? I'm stuck on the first level. After, like, half an hour of tutorials, I can't find myself my way through the first freaking level. Oh, look. 
Oh, here we go. Here's a bunch of them. There we go. The RC car has been energized. Damn straight it has. There we go. Unlock level two. All right. Kind of like Katamari Damacy in a way. Because, like, you have to, like, get more and more powerful to the point where you can pick up bigger and bigger things. Um, cleared! Oh, we did it! The, we found the inner power. The power within. Yeah, this is kind of like... Um, you can clear the mission without completing it. Now eh, we're gonna continue. We just want to see more levels. Oh, I guess we get to keep going. Okay. Let's just see real real quickly if we can, uh... Whoop, 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 whoop. Get over here. If we can, uh, open the door, like, get a little farther here. We need a thousand. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, here we go. Come here, little elements. If they were in the computer, why wasn't the computer turning on? The whole point is to capture them so we have more power to do stuff. Got you, got you. No, eight, seven, six, five. Where are the elements? Where are they hiding? Reveal yourselves, are you in my shirt? Are you in my shirt? No, time up. Well, we got, we passed a level, I think. Um, but yeah, if you had not told me this is a Konami game, I would have had no idea, honestly. Like, like Konami, like, really changed over the years. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, when you're producing a game for the Wii, you're not going to create Contra. You're going to take something... You're going to make something that takes advantage of the motion controls. I mean, a lot of the... Um, I've said this before, but I mean, I think motion controls were a bit of a fad that have uh, uh, kind of passed on a bit. Um, just because, like, when the Wii came out, motion controls were, like, kind of cool and interesting, but they kind of force-fed them into all these games where, like, they didn't necessarily fit into all the games they were putting them into. Um, and I think people just kind of got tired of motion controls, because, I mean, look at, you know, like, the Switch has some motion control capability, but it's, they really reverted back to a controller system, you know? Because I think, like, motion controls are fun for parties and stuff, but, like, most gamers don't want to, like, sit around and use motion controls. It's more satisfying to press buttons, I think. Um, and actually, I, I wonder, like, what do you guys think? Why is it more satisfying to sit around and press buttons than it is to uh, move around? I mean, part of me thinks that, like, legitimately, like, it sounds bad, but it's just, it takes too much energy to, like, move your hands and stuff around and, like, like literally move. Like, it sounds so uber lazy, I know. But it's kind of true, don't you, th don't you think, that, like, people don't want to move too much? And also, like, your fingers, your fingers are, like, the most precise, um, not organ, but the most precise appendage you've got. And so it kind of makes sense that if you want to control something super precisely, you would use your fingers uh, to do it. And so it kind of makes sense that, like, buttons are the type of system we want if we're playing a video game, because we want to be super precise with things. We don't necessarily want to be super realistic. Um, this isn't to say that, like, no game should have motion controls. But just, I think that's why motion controls are like an interesting curiosity, and some games use them, but they're never gonna replace, you know, like an analog, like the D-pad and stuff. Like, I'm an old school gamer, I was raised on the D-pad. Uh, motion controls took a while for me to sort of get used to the concept of, and I still don't like them as much as a controller. But I think that's why, I think it's like, literally a combination of like, laziness and lack of precision. Uh, but, I mean, that, those are just my thoughts. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, clearly motion controls are not as prominent today as they were when the Wii came out. Um, they just have, uh, you know, slowly receded. And, like, when the Wii came out, you know, like, everyone and their grandma was buying a Wii. Uh, it's not like grandparents have kept up with the newer Nintendo systems. Like, nobody's grand grandparent buys, um, you know, like, uh, like the Wii U or the Switch. So, you know times change and the Wii was like an interesting game at the time but um the motion control stuff doesn't hold up as well I think as like you know traditional controls um but yeah I mean maybe you disagree maybe you think it does um you could talk about that in the comments too if you disagree but uh, I'm more curious as to why buttons are a little more satisfying for us I don't know I don't know uh, when I when I first was reading about this game um by the way we're like wandering around in the hallway now it's kind of interesting um, I think you, like, eventually work your way out to, like, the center of town if you keep, uh, if you, uh, keep playing this game. So you work from, like, a bedroom to, like, the rest of the house to, like, eventually, like, the middle of town and stuff. So it's kind of cool, actually, get to explore this world. It does, I do feel like a Ghostbuster, like, going around zapping these guys. And the Ghostbusters totally captured ghosts and put them into, like, ghost traps, so... 
It's not, it's not too far off from what this guy's doing. He's walking around, zapping things. Okay, and then we go in. No! Oh! oh man, the door is, is quite annoying, actually. There we go. Okay, we're in the bathroom. Ugh. Do we really want an Elibit who's been sleeping in the toilet? That seems like maybe we should just leave that Elibit. Do we, like, we, I don't think we really need that one. Oh, don't, uh, don't throw the desk in front of the door. We'll lock ourselves in. Okay, is there any Elibits in the urinal? Do I really have to check this? Um, let's just leave the ones in the bathroom be. Oh, there's one. I think I guess I stepped on him and squished him. Oh, there's a whole bunch. They're like little rodents. What's in front of me? They're like little rats and rodents. Let's uh, get out of this room if we can. Yeah! Run! No! The table's in my way. I, I legit can't get out of this room because of the table. Oh no! I'm trapped. Get out of the freaking way! Okay, here we go. It's like I went into the bathroom to capture these elements, and all you hear on the other side of the door is like, bam, wham, like, ah, like I'm fumbling around. There's like a table on the floor. I probably sound like somebody who's like mentally incompetent. All right. Is this locked or something? Why can't I get in there? Just throw the family portrait around. Also, where are the parents? If this really happened, where are the parents? Shouldn't they be here to try and, uh, try and help me, like, turn power back on? Did the parents just peace out for the weekend or something like that? Um, oh, there's a switch. Boom. Oh, hello. Think you could hide? Think you could hide in my dirty laundry? Or my hair dryer that I have stored in the, like, some, you know, mop closet for some reason? Not on my watch, little Ella Bits. I call them Ella Bitches because I make them my bitches. Okay. Come here, little guy. Nobody hides from me. All right, cleared that closet. I don't know if there's one down there. Let's go back to the uh, toilet, because there, there was some kind of electrical device in the can that we could, could turn on if we had enough power. What is this? One of these things? I don't even know what that's good for. Ugh. And here we go. What? What is this? Ew, it's a toilet! Oh my god, there's a bunch of electrical ones literally hiding in the toilet. Like my nightmare. Let's just try. Oh, we squish one. Trash this place. Oh, look. Maybe there's some in here. Some in here. Huh. We're hiding under the toilet roll. Oh, God. The freaking table. I, it's like in my way. Super annoying. What, what is happening? Can, why can't I move this thing? There's clearly a dude behind that one. There we go. Was this like the cop siren? Was that uh, Elibit wanted for like Grand Larceny or something? All right, what else we got? Ah! Oh, I want to throw this. Trash it. It is fun to like trash the place. Oh, I threw it over the balcony. Mm. Oh, wait, is there a downstairs? Oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, we can't even go downstairs. Not yet. Not yet, guys. We haven't earned that yet. Um, 900 watts. Okay. Oh, hello. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Desk lamp is energized. Where is it? It's over here somewhere, I think. <sighs> Move this. Did it, my, my main complaint with this game is, like, things kind of, like, get in your way. It's, like, really hard to, like... There we go. Get to things sometimes. Yes, we're at level three. My gun is, grows more powerful. One day I'll be able to lift the moon itself. Oh, look, I can lift plants now, too. Oh, there were guys under that. Oh, there's like a pink one. Elibit cookie, 30 seconds. All right. I like when you get more powerful because you can like just totally like trash the place. Yeah, just like ripping closets out of other closets. It is it is super awkward though to like grab things properly. Oh, look at all these dudes. Vacuum cleaner energized. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's an Elibit massacre. Elephant <laughs> Massacre. Come here, you little dudes. We cleared the level. Uh, let's just go on to the next one. Um, no. Boom, we did it. We cleared the hallway. We got a C. This is giving me uh, flashbacks of uh, Devil May Cry when we did terrible. I think we got a few A's and B's, but we got a lot of C's and D's in our gaming. Um, 
You know, one other thing I always remember about the Wii is that when it came out, it had a lot of shovelware. I think that's what you call it. Like games that are like rushed out, that aren't super complicated, that only cost like 20 bucks, arguably. But like literally they were kind of like just garbage. They were just, you know, you could like pile them up into a shovel. I don't know where what the term actually means or where it came from. But yeah, I remember there were a lot of games like that. Like you get games in like cereal boxes and stuff, I seem to recall. Um, actually, I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it was probably true. So I'm going to say maybe it was true. Um, I think that is like when the Wii came out, I wasn't su I was one of the people who wasn't super excited for it. I didn't have one for a long time. I think it was partly because like there were things like that going on where like it seemed like there were some games that were being produced for it that just were kind of like crappy. Um, I'm, but I mean, at the same token, then I w went ahead and um, boom found a bunch of elements. Then I went ahead and went over to my friend's house all the time to play Super Mario Brothers Wii because ever since I was a kid, I wanted like a simultaneous co-op Mario and that's what that game was and that was pretty freaking rad. So, you know, pros and cons. That guy's sleeping. Let's try and get them while they're sleeping. Boom. Take them in the night. 330 watts. Okay. We have a cookie. We've activated a cookie for 30 seconds. Come to me, sweet little elibits. Come, the power of the cookie compels you. Oh, look, they are coming. Look, anyone want a cookie? 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 Oh, look, they're coming. Oh, this cookie is useful. We should have used this from the get-go. Okay, now that he's got the cookie, now we smash this thing. Oh, hold on. And we stun him. Huh. No, didn't work. Antique clock energized. Did that thing need power? Doesn't it just run on like old the, an old timey sense of duty? Is it like what? Are, what are old clocks? What do grandfather clocks even run on? I was not aware that they were electrically charged. Are they? That act, like like no grandfather clocks don't plug in. How do they work? Is it just gravity and and sheer will? Or do you have to wind them? I'm so I'm, I'm actually genuinely wondering now. Are they battery powered? Like this clock here, surely you would not plug this into an outlet. What powers this clock? Did did uh, people from a previous time know know about uh, an energy source other than electricity? Maybe it's powered by fusion reactions. It has like a small amount of plutonium on the inside and creates sort of like a never-ending fusion reaction, like in our sun. It's, uh, it's sort of like a miniature Dyson sphere with, like, energy outputs, like, near 100%. So it can sort of run for eons at a time. I mean, I'm just guessing, but, like, based on everything I know about grandfather clocks, that sounds correct. What what powers the grandfather clock? My god, I, I never thought about it before. What the hell's the switch on this thing? Are you, are you serious? Huh? Huh? Oh, no! It tells me that there's a switch here, but, like, what... Uh, I'm like stuck on it now. You're joking me. If that prevents me from passing the level, pulling these drawers open is really annoying too. Like, I don't have enough strength to open a drawer. That sucks. Can I just leave the room? I'm locked. I'm locked. How did I get in here if I'm locked in? Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, there's one Elibit sleeping in Grandpa's closet. You're mine now, little Elibit. All right, we did everything we can with those shoes. Shirts. I'm not strong enough yet to pick up shirts. One day, I just look at those shirts and say, one day, you and me. What? What is it? It's going to print in like 30 seconds? It's an Epson printer, guys. What is this? A hiding spot of an elephant. That's what it was. Oh, this door is unlocked. All right. Wait, this is probably about done printing. 13, 12, 11, 10. I guess we'll just wait. Crash this place some more. Seriously, where did my parents go? They're like, no electricity, forget this. Good luck on your own, son. Oh, look at them, they're flying out of it. They got printed. They were flat and they were floating in the air. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now can we... Yes, we can lift this. There we go. That was so stupid that we couldn't press the button. I guess it doesn't have really great, uh, like... Aim detection or whatever. See, I don't know. Would you consider this a first-person shooter? Because technically, that's what this is. I would not. I mean, it's 
It's not that it, I, I don't see why people would call it that, but like a first person shoot. Oh, the doors. So freaking annoying. The, a first person shooter, in my opinion. Um, super strength, pick up heavier stuff for a time. Okay. Um, a first person shooter, in my opinion, is like you have to like be using a gun to kill things, kind of. Like, I wouldn't even consider Portal like a first person shooter. It's more of a first person puzzle game, that one. Where's that purple guy going? Oh, he disappeared! He eluded me! He phased into another dimension. He phased into the grandfather clock. Yeah, I mean, this would this would be closer to uh, Portal. But I don't know, like... I, I'm, I'm getting hung up on the motion controls again, like... I don't know, first person sh shooter... I don't know, this just doesn't feel like a first person shooter. Like, a first person shooter use the mouse or an analog stick. I mean, I know that's not the true definition, but when you have to, like, aim at the screen like this, I don't know. It doesn't quite feel the same. I can't, like, put my finger on it, but it feels more like, um... I don't know. Like a rail shooter, almost. Even though you're not on rails. I don't know. Maybe it's a first-person shooter. I'm just being picky, but, uh... I, I... Looking at... If somebody said, do you want to play a first-person shooter? And I said, yes. And they put this in, I would say, what are you doing, dude? I said, like, put in... You know, Doom, Goldeneye, Halo, Half-Life, even Call of Duty, hell. But like, this is not really first-person shooter. This is like first-person puzzly exploration stuff. Boom. 700 watts is good for turning on the lights. Spewing these guys onto Dad's office carpet. One sleeping under his desk. We'll get him. Oh, well, look at them all, oh my god. We got a thousand billion of them that were hiding under the computer. Antique radio. Where do you think that is? There's a lot of suitcases. I think Grandpa was getting ready to ditch. He was just going to bail in the middle of the night. This whole Elbit thing got in the way. 1400 watt. Oh, look at this old school computer. I definitely kind of want to turn that on. Where'd that other guy go? Thousand watts. We're getting close. There we go. That <laughs> took a minute. I was like, "Wait, why is this not working?" You have to rotate it. I feel like I, again. I said this when I was trying to open the doors. The rotation leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not ideal. But uh, yeah. oh, we have to shred a disc. Ugh. Oh man, this is so hard. It's hard to, like, determine the, the depth of things. Okay, hold on. We're going to do this. Uh... Go in! Oh, no! It's right on the cusp. Uh. Uh. Get in there. How's that not in? Oh, we did it! That was harder than it looked. I, I got that a lot faster than I thought I would. Okay, here we go. Super strength! Oh, what? I can't lift the desk! I thought I would be super strength. Oh, I just threw the chair. Oh, yeah! Flipping the tables! Yeah! You like this? Where are you, you stinking elements? Wait, uh-oh. We're running out of time. Oh, no! We didn't pass the level! <laughs> uh, we gave it a good shot, though. We gave it a good shot. I thought, man, I was disappointed. I wanted to hulk out and, like, just, like, kick in the walls and stuff. How much did I need? Total captured... It doesn't even tell me, like, what I needed. Uh, wait. One is details. Um... That means nothing to me. Sure, save the dish. Save my failure. You might as well. Let's remember this in all time. Um, well, I, th I feel like I've gotten a good sense of Elibits here. Um, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and retry just while I wrap up here. But Elibits, this is one of the games in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, I do think this is actually a really unique game. I, honestly, I have not really played a game like this before. The zapping is actually pretty fun, you know, as sort of, um, as, as not super into motion controls as I am. This is actually, like, a pretty reasonable game, I think. Um, I don't think this would be, like, my favorite game, but, uh... But yeah, in terms of like understanding why it's in the book, I think I totally get it. It's a, it's definitely a unique experience on the Wii. I definitely see that uh, people could have a lot of fun with this, especially like if you're playing with friends and stuff and like taking turns to try to pass levels. 
Like, I could see this being, like, a fairly enjoyable game. Um, there are a few, like, quirks with the motion controls, like, not being able to open doors and stuff super easily. Maybe that's just me and you get better at it, but I know in the 1001 Games of Play Free Die book, um, they do mention that too. So it's not like it has absolutely perfect controls, but, you know, I don't know. It, it's definitely, like, an interesting game. I think it is, it is definitely worth a shot if you're looking for something sort of different on the Wii. Um, it has sort of a, a funny little story where you're trying to capture these guys. It, it really does remind me of like Pikmin or Chibi Robo. It's like all these games on Nintendo systems are about going around in a world capturing little creatures or like Katamari Damacy. That was PS2 actually. But uh, it's, it's this sort of Japanese thing of like exploring real spaces and finding little magical creatures or like weird things going on. I don't know. Feels very Japanese, but, uh, but interesting. Um, it is interesting that it's just, you know, this is a first-person shooter, but it's unlike most first-person shooters you'll play. So again, looking for something different, different, I could totally see this being one you'd want to check out. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of Elibits here? Do you agree with me that it looks kind of interesting and a little unique? Um, or do you kind of look at this and say, eh, eh, it doesn't really do anything for me. I don't know if I'd really bother with this. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always curious to hear what you guys think and, you know, like... Maybe you've played this game before and you have some fun memories you want to share with us. That would be awesome too. But other than that, guys, if you find yourself trapped in a house without electricity but a series of magical little creatures, just remember to hunt them with fury and without regret because there is no other way to bring back electricity other than hunting these little magical beasts little animals and if you find other little animals in your house don't shove them in the electrical sockets chances are they will not power them up just wait for the power company to sort out uh, the mess in fact actually that's probably what you should do in the real world don't go hunting your house for little animals to shove in electrical sockets just wait for the electrical company to sort things out um yeah and uh, otherwise till we meet again i'm just gonna be in this house hunting down all these stinking little elements you guys take care of yourselves peace Why is opening doors so hard in this game? Ugh, no! <laughs>